Hey guys, Mike from Urban Automotive, Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Let's go into the shop and see what's going on today. I think you guys might find this pretty interesting. So we got here a 2012 Mini Cooper Clubman, great little car. We love them. And we got a broken coil spring. Let's go over and talk to the man that's working on it. Tell us a little more. All right, Mr. Drew, let's get that part. Show us what's happening. So as we can see, we got the new shock and spring. Why are we replacing these uh, shocks and springs on this vehicle? Well, um, customer's complaint, the corner was hanging low. Uh, very harsh ride. Um, and the coil spring is broken. And uh, let me take you over to our uh, press there. And I'll show you exactly. So why do coil that. springs break? Uh, weak shocks and mm -hmm. struts. Um, it's almost like if you're at home and you take a coat hanger, and you wind it up and you start going back and forth, back and forth, the heat build up. The shock is there to slow all that down. Perfect. Um, it's not there. The coat hanger is eventually going to break. Your coil spring is almost just like a big coat hanger. All right. This is one of the old struts. This is the lower coil on this. So the lower coil sits on that. Okay. But once that breaks, this portion. The vehicle drops. Yeah, it's a progressive coil because it can no longer sit in the spring uh -huh. or in the seat. And mm -hmm. this will drop right down. And you're basically sitting down on your bump stop from there on out. Which is not good. No. So we've got the old uh, spring compressor here on the wall. Yeah. And we've compressed it. Compressed. Get our fresh nut on there, and the proper way to do it because you don't just want to take the gun to it and start zapping it because all you're going to be doing is spinning that shaft majorly and uh, spinning that poor little valve in there, and you'll tear the seals out of it and you'll tear the valve out of it. So you just fasten this down. This is a new nylock nut that comes with the new strut. Yeah, and you're using your allen key there on the ratchet to uh, hold it steady and then you're properly just binding this that way your shaft on the strut is not excessively spinning and you're not going to tear out the new valve on your new strut and most importantly before you even assemble all this is priming the strut these things sit on the shelves for who knows how long sideways the gas and oils can settle um, once you take it off Give it a few compression strokes there, get the gases and oils flowing again so it'll be properly because you can have a brand new shock that can seem bad because there's just no resistance to it. Gotcha. So this one's all good. We got all kinds of pressure using our uh, Brannock spring compressor. Yep, safety first. Safety first. You got your safety glasses safety on there. On. There you go. Yeah, perfect. I have to take them off for the video there. Nice, nice. That awesome. Look, that look good. All right. So. Once we get this in, the vehicle will be sitting higher because of the new coil springs, so we're going to do an alignment check on it as well to make sure it's good. But uh, this is a common thing on these European vehicles as they age. The uh, well, not springs... Not Euro European. Everything across the board, they do age. You know, we all age. Graciously, some not so graciously. That's very true. Yeah. More than you know. <laughs> excluded, right? Thanks, Drew, for uh, explaining all that. So there you have it, folks. If uh, you suspect your vehicle's not sitting right, you see it on an angle, your ride's not what it used to be, Urban Automotive, 886 Winston Churchill Boulevard, safety first.